Hey everyone, Justin from Core Performance here to answer, hopefully, a question that we get all the time. Okay, whenever we get customers asking about uh, I play XO or our armor packages or whatever, inevitably we get the, this question. Should I get level three plates or should I get level four plates? And the answer, we could take 30 minutes and do this deep dive into the engineering and the science and the NIJ ratings and all this fancy stuff that would make us sound really, really smart. But the bottom line is this question actually isn't that difficult. And I think people make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. It really comes down to weight and cost and statistics, the beauty of math. Statistically, the threats that we are most likely to face as civilian law enforcement or as prepared uh, responsible citizens, uh, we're gonna face nine mil, we're gonna face 223, 556, uh, we're gonna face 45, 12 gauge and 22 long rifle and 40 cal below that, if I remember correctly, which I'm pretty sure I did remember that table correctly. But if you want to fact check me, you can just click that link below and we've got the table and all kinds of fancy geek data down there that we'll take a deep dive into off camera. But if you just want the bottom line up front, bottom line up front is that level four is awesome. Yes, it stops all kinds of fancy stuff, but you got to carry around a significantly greater amount of weight. Uh, for protection that statistically, if you click on that table and you see what calibers are most uh, commonly purchased here in America and what volumes, statistically, you're not going to face, okay? But that weight, you got to carry that weight all the time. You know, everybody in the community talks about ounces equal pounds and pounds equal pounds, but everybody says it for a reason. You know, it's, it's smart, it's time-tested wisdom. Level three, on the other hand, stops everything that I just listed on that list. Uh, when I was on duty, I wore level threes. Uh, and I know a lot of uh, our military guys still wear level threes, and I know some people are going to jump out. I'm only allowed to wear level fours, and yes, maybe you're allowed to wear level fours, but we, trust me, they've worked here. <laughs> uh, they were level threes. And uh, it just depends on who you are, right? But military threats are going to be dictated by people, really not us, not you. Uh, those are going to be dictated by other circumstances. So we're really only uh, kind of covering civilian applications, right? And we, we count law enforcement in that. And those can really be driven by statistics. Okay, so I carried level three and I found that it definitely, I mean, I'm still here, so it's it, it was more than enough to handle every threat that we ever faced, okay? And statistically, yes, we faced, at least for us, we faced 22 more than anything. After that, we faced nine millimeter. And shortly after that, we faced 12 gauge. We actually didn't face a ton of rifle threats. Um, but that math holds true, okay? Now, uh, if you want, this is America, we're not telling you what to do, we're just trying to give you some data to help you make the best decision for yourself. But if you want to get level four plates and have that peace of mind, just understand it's gonna be a lot more weight and a lot more cost for capability and return that you're probably not gonna be able to realize. Again, if this was helpful and you wanna take that deeper dive and you just wanna like let that inner geek roar, knock yourself out, we prepped an article down below that has all the details and the statistics and the tables and you know uh, sales volumes and how much Ammo demand for nine millimeter jumped in 2020, uh, all kinds of neat stuff. So click that link below and you'll be able to uh, indulge to your heart's content. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for tuning in. We would just like to ask that you smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn those notifications on if this was helpful. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below, but we think that that article should take care of most of it, but we're always happy to help you guys. Uh, until next time, stay frosty.